process that we take for building a chassis really comes down to uh, two phases, there's design and analysis and then manufacturing. So in the design and analysis phase, really we start off with the previous year's car and we look at what we currently have, um, we look at the, the rules and regulations provided by FSAE, if anything has changed, what we need to follow or abide by. After our critical design review, which is when all the analysis and the synthesis designs are presented, we move on to what we call DFM, that's Design for Manufacturing. And at that point, that's where we're really planning on how we're going to manufacture the whole vehicle. So uh, when it comes to the chassis, primarily welded. We have to, of course, order the, the tubing, all the materials that we need beforehand. Um, the process that we take is that we do get it laser cut. Um, we can notch it by hand, that is very time consuming. Uh, my name is Fernando Mojica, and I'm the chassis team lead. Uh, so, uh, so in aerodynamics, we want to create the most amount of downforce to achieve our goals with the least amount of taxation to the car, which is the, the drag. So the, an, air, uh, an efficient aerodynamic package is going to be able to give you the most amount of downforce with the least amount of drag. We can go back and forth between the full model and this full model we can actually see how that diffuser is going to fit and how the entire aero package fits in the vehicle. From here we can now simulate the same car, the same body, everything's the same except for the fact that this one has the rear wing, the front wing and the under tray and we can then calculate what the theoretical numbers would be in terms of uh, downforce and drag gains. Uh, from the previous model. So my name is Bruno Luciani and I am the team lead for aerodynamics and composites at CSUN's Formula SAE project.